Hey Vanner Fanner family, today I'm doing a little bit of construction work. I'm going to be cutting this screen. Yikes! So I know you're like, why are you going to cut it? So the reason I want to cut it is I have a lot of clutter on my counter here. I'm going to show you. So much clutter. And if and when I want to cook, I have to move all these little random items off. Um, most of this doesn't need to be here. I did go to the store today and threw a couple things up here. But I also want to get rid of what I'm keeping my spices and oil and cooking stuff in. I want to get rid of these. And the reason I want to get rid of those is because I want to put something up on the wall here possibly. Okay? Or... I want to put something across the back right here and I can't lift things up with this in the way so this is gonna get cut and unlike the other one where I only cut one section off I'm gonna be cutting two sections off of this one to give me this entire area empty so first I've got to take the screws off of this off the wall take the cute little items that I have on it off hanging from it off and then pull it off the wall take it outside cut it and I'm gonna flip it around so that the non cut end is on this side where you see and the cut end is on the back side where I can only see laying in the bed just like I did the other side one so let's get this taken off and uh, get it outside and let's get to cutting Okay, so I'm getting ready to cut, and the reason I'm cutting this side is because it has white, the most white here, the most color is on that end, so that's why I'm cutting from this side. And I am using the, um, I don't know what this is called, but I have it on a setting of two to start with, just so I can make sure it's not going too fast and I can always turn it up. So I will turn the volume down though so you don't hear all this noise that it's making, and I'm sure it'll take me a few cuts to get it exactly how I want it. But again, this end won't show, so if I mess it up, I mess it up. So that's it. 
Um, again, this part is going to go near my head in the bed area. So it really does not matter um, that this part doesn't look as neat and as flush, like it doesn't have corners. Um, what I probably will do is put a strip of um, the black Gorilla Tape here to cover these corners up and these rough edges. But again, this part will be at the head of my bed area, so it won't matter because it'll only be showing for me. So I'm going to go put it back up and then show you what I've got. Okay, super hot, but I got it up, as you can see. So I get, I have all this empty space here to work with as far as if I want to put a couple of shallow shelves here for my spices. It also allows me to now open up this curtain, which I couldn't do before. So I'm going to um, use what I already have and decide what things I might want to buy um, at Dollar Tree or whatever, you, what have you. But I'm going to use what I already have. I did buy one thing from Target today, so I want to see if it works. So I'm going to fix this whole counter area up. Um, I'm going to move a couple of things around that are already up here, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm all done, as you can see. So I've got my soaps and um, scrubbers and stuff for washing dishes over here by the sink. I've got my cooking utensils here. I have some packets of like nutritional yeast and little things that I, was use, I would use for cooking or seasoning. And I've got some, um, you know, like packets of um, salad dressing and stuff like that. Once those are gone, then I don't know what I'll use this for. But you know, when I go places and um, I get extra packets of stuff. My cooktop will sit here while cooking. My um, spices are here. Some more of spices are here and my oils and stuff and my hot sauce and uh, marinades and stuff like that are on this side. And yeah, I think I am liking it. Now my cooktop does not stay up here. So when I'm not cooking, this is how my sink looks. It's completely clear and free of clutter. I like it so much better. So I um, behind these, I threaded a string through the holes and I drilled holes in the back of this and threaded a string and tied it to both ends and then used a couple of clips to clip it to the um, little short backsplash. I do like the fact that I can open this curtain now when I'm sitting here during the daytime. If I wanna wash dishes and I don't wanna turn the lights on, I could get a little more light because this was permanently closed before because when this screen was all the way across, I couldn't get back behind it. So I like that feature of having this open or closed depending on the time of day or what I'm doing. And you can't really see the blue back there. So to me, it's not that big of a deal. So my curtains are just hung on bungees, as you guys know. I could tighten this up with a little hook here, and I might do that later. My Crystal Banner Virginia license plate is up there with Velcro. I've got my little frog. And as you can see, you can still see plenty of my screen. I like it better shorter. Um, I had also considered putting a couple of strips of, um, what do you call it, um, stainless steel up here and then buying the little spice jars, the little spice jars that are magnetic and putting them up here. I still might do that, which is why I didn't do anything permanent down here on the sink area. Because I think if I put three strips of um, stainless steel um, material, you know, stainless steel here, and buy those magnetic spice jars, I could definitely put them up here because I could put my spices and they would be uniform. They would all look uniform. And then that would clear this cat, this back part of the cabinet off uh, with, this, with these few spices. I don't use a lot of spices, just maybe five, six things, depending on what I'm cooking. Well, I hope you enjoyed the cutting of the screen and I'll see you next time. Enjoying the videos? Then give a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. Support future videos on Patreon for just a dollar a month and text VannerFam, all one word, to 703-783-3232. I'll see you next time.